Black and White Sessions. We are so excited today, or I'm personally super excited today, to introduce to you the incredible Gene Noble. What's up? And I'm excited too. Yay! <laughs> How are you? Me. I'm good. I'm doing great. Okay, so we, I'm going to say, I've already told you this, but I'm going to tell them this, that I'm such a fan. So a lot of these singers that have come in here, I've known them for like 20 years, worked with them, have personal relationships, know their kids, whatever. You, I've met today for the very first time. Yes, yes. We have just met, but I'm seriously like trying to just keep my composure and not be super dumb and like awkward because I'm such a fan. Thank you. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. Really, really. I was introduced to your music in 2015. Okay. And you had a single called Trust. Yes. <laughs> Get this song if you've not heard it. It's it's so fantastic. Thank it's, you. It's still one of my favorites. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and so that was kind of my first introduction to you as a singer, and I just I I've just always you know followed you since that time, just thinking, wow, like you just have an incredible gift. Thank you. And and you've reached a lot of people, and um, some of the people watching this will already know who you are, but in the R and B world. I'd like to know, kind of like, because you've written songs for some pretty significant artists yeah. out there. I know you've written for Rihanna, Chris Brown, Faith Evans. I don't know. There may be others, but yeah. those are big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Grammy nominated. Yeah. What were you Grammy nominated for? Well, uh, a project that I worked on was Grammy nominated, which was Shaggy's album. Okay. Uh, so, Best Reggae Album we were nominated oh, for. Oh, that's and, fantastic. Um, also, um, another project that was nominated that I worked on was Faith Evans' um, her uh, R&B Divas project. So. Which is so great. Yeah, she's incredible she's amazing. too. I love her. Well, talking about Shaggy, let's just go there for a minute because uh, you've been touring with Shaggy for a while now yeah. in, in conjunction with Sting. Yeah, you've I've been, been with them all year. Sting and Shaggy uh, did a, a reggae album in January of last year, which I worked on as well. And since then we've been touring. So this entire year I've spent pretty much touring with Sting and Shaggy, which has been a blast. Uh, a highlighted moment or a city or a country that you've been in? Anything that stands out? Something? Yeah, you know, when I was in Europe, we did um, an old coliseum that was like built in like 5 AD or something like that. So it was one of the first uh, coliseums uh, ever. So it's like this old Roman, like, you know, thing in Italy. And it's, it's incredible. You stand there and you feel like you're in the movie Gladiator or something like wow. that. You know, it was pretty yeah, cool. And I'm it was, sure. you know, sold out, packed crowd, and just the roar in that place is just amazing. I can't imagine. I'm sure that was incredible. Yeah, that was cool. So outside of the tour, I mean, that's that's an in incredible opportunity to be with two legends. Yes, absolutely. That love and adore each other. Yes. And would you say, uh, I would think that it seems like both of them uh, love their band. Yeah, and, for sure. And care for you guys and feature you even. You even have yeah. a little feature within the show. Is Absolutely, that right? yeah. I mean, well, I had a song out with Shaggy and Pitbull called Only Love. Okay. And, um, you know, that debut it went top 20. So I was really happy about that. And so he's always uh, done a lot to encourage me and push me forward. And Love Sting that. gave me the opportunity uh, on the talk to perform um, our version of Get Back My Baby, which I kind of ad libbed through the end of it for like 16 bars, which. You know, typically an artist would cut the end of the song and just do like like a radio edit or something uh -huh. like that. But he, you know, just left me up there and just do my thing, uh, which <laughs> was cool. And you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a really cool experience. So. Well, it's so great when uh, artists who are so respected and are successful, you know, that, that they embrace their singers and yes. their band and you know that that's something that you hope yeah for sure and it's not always the case you know that's right. and uh i mean i've worked with you know a, a lot of people so i've mm -hmm. seen a lot of different types of scenarios and this is yeah. i have to say one of the best scenarios that i've ever been in i mean i feel very appreciated and they give me a lot of space to to do my thing and just the unit is just everybody's really great and super talented and it's just yeah. it's been amazing well, and as, you know, a lot of people that watch the Black and White Sessions videos and interviews, they are aspiring singers uh, or want to work in the industry on some level. Okay. And, you know, you are interesting in that you, you know, you have this opportunity to work with other um, well-known artists, but you are an artist in and of your own right yeah um and you have put out music under gene noble yeah and you've just recently released a single uh, yes. tell us about that and kind of what what is your dream what are the goals what are you looking to do from an artist perspective at yeah. this point in your life 
I think uh, from an artist perspective, for me, it's just reach as many people as possible. I think mm -hmm. that's kind of the thing I would, I you know, for me, there's no greater joy than like someone is like, oh, I, I played your song today. You know, that that's really what this started out being about for me and it's still about for me as a writer and as a singer it's just like hearing my songs on the radio and hearing uh people perform my songs you know um mm -hmm. that's that's what this is about for me so each song that i release the hope is just to to expand you know the the base the, the amount of people that i can reach um yeah. but yeah i have a song out called uh, expectations um a song called the cost and champagne jack and then i'm putting out a full ep um, so yeah, and the hope is to to beat my last one, which debuted, you know, number sixteen on iTunes R and B. So I'm trying to Love beat it. that spot now. So and let's talk about R and B for a minute. I mean, yeah. I'm I you know I came up in '90s R and B. Yes, when, me too. <laughs> you know, I mean, there is really nothing better. Than nothing 90s. better. Nothing I'm better. so glad because I, I got a lot of my training yeah, through '90s absolutely. R and B, for sure. singing wise. So I want my kids to have an opportunity. I'm like, yeah. But I want them to also have current, like, people yeah. that aren't just going back in time. Right. So what do you think is the situation with R&B? Do you think it's it's on its way back to mainstream popularity for the masses? Are I you think, hopeful for that? I or think that... I think that R&B has kind of never left its mainstream popularity. It's mm -hmm. just taken different forms. Okay. You know, so like, okay. you know, in a lot of hip hop music, um, it's called rapping or whatever, but it's very melodic. There's a lot of singing and some, some hip hop albums, there's actually no rap verses. It's all singing the entire thing. So that's one way that it comes okay. across. And then in a lot of pop music, there's so many elements of R&B and a lot of the R&B writers are writing all the pop records. So yes. it's kind of like That's it's finding true. its way through in in those other ways and also we with people like her and daniel caesar and mm -hmm. uh it's coming back to to a, a mainstream place but i think you know I, i'm in the same place as you you know i came up listening to like boys to men That's and right. jodeci and like r kelly and, and mariah carey and like the list goes on like and people that condition. were really <laughs> make conditions stokely you know like the the people that were singing you know yeah. And so that's what I grew up loving and emulating and wanted to be like. And so, so there's no way that I can do music and not, you know, tap into that. Yeah, those influences. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah, I really like your perspective on that because I know I feel like a lot of singers in the community have that conversation, yeah. like, oh, we miss like yeah. kind of that those tight harmonies and just yeah. all of that yeah for sure know? well if you miss that that's it's in my music it's it's yeah. going to always be in my music because i have no choice but to 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 you know draw on that because that's what I, I came from that's what you come from yeah i love it well listen you guys gene noble if you don't know him you do now hey <laughs> get his music Look Please him do. up. It's there. It's Come available. Come to a show. Come to a show. <laughs> Spread the word. <laughs> yes, and that's the other thing. He's out doing all these tours, but you do headline shows yes. all over. Yeah. And when you're not touring with other artists, and they sell out most of the time here. Yes. And so, or is it usually in New York and L.A., or do you find yourself in other cities? I do shows cities? everywhere. You know, I'm actually okay. going to be doing a full tour in 2019, so I'm very Fantastic. excited about that. And um, But, yeah, I do shows everywhere, and, and it's all always a personal experience it's always a, a one of one like I never do the same show all the time so okay. I, I definitely try to make it an intimate moment with the audience I'm the type of artist that if you call out a song that you are the only person who knows and my <laughs> band knows it we'll do You're it in. you know what I mean You're going so, in. yeah <laughs> so I, I like that vibe just to kind of have a moment that it. we create in the space you know I'm so happy for you. I'm so Thank excited you. for the journey you're on and that Thank you continue you. to just keep evolving creatively and it's inspiring for all of us Thanks and for so those much. coming up behind you and we just hope that you'll con continue to give us Thank you. I will. What's happening? I promise I you will know. continue. Okay, Gene Noble. Go see him in a concert. Go get his music on iTunes Please and everywhere do. else. All right? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. We appreciate you. Thanks for having me. All right. See ya.